welcome, welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And... Yeah. Unlike Donald Trump, I know I'm being recorded right now. <laughs> because, folks, there's a tape! <laughs> Not that tape, but still. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all about it in tonight's Stormy Watch. <laughs> Long-time viewers of Stormy Wash will recall that Karen McDougal is the Playboy playmate who claimed she had a 10-month affair with Donald Trump. McDougal's story was hushed up after she told she sold the rights to it to the National Enquirer for $150,000. That's $20,000 more than Stormy Daniels. Mm. <laughs> Karen must have spanked him with two magazines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now... Now, <laughs> Trump denies the affair and any knowledge of that payment, but last night, CNN obtained one of the 12 secret Trump Cohen tapes, this one from September of 2016. And you can tell it's from 2016 because they're both making a lot of Harambe jokes. <laughs> and despite his denials, the audio confirms that Trump knew about the payments during the presidential campaign. Donald Trump lied. So now they have to reset the sign on the White House lawn. <laughs> yeah. It's shocking. It's shocking. You got to. Bring it around a bit. The tape, it starts off with Trump on the phone talking about some controversy that, that, that Trump's all embroiled in. Maybe because of this, for that one, you know, I think what we can do is get rid of this because it's so false what they're saying. It's such bull. Um, I think this goes away quickly. I think what I think it's probably better do the Charleston thing just this time. The Charleston thing? <laughs> I'm I'm from Charleston. Which Charleston thing are you talking about? The Food and Wine Fest Gospel Brunch, the USS Yorktown Ghost Tour. Oh, I know. It's probably the aquarium. The Sea Turtle Hospital has an observation window. <laughs> the tape continues with Cohen telling the president that the New York Times is looking into his divorce from Ivana Trump. So we got served from the New York Times, I told you this, we were regarding to unseal the divorce papers with Ivana. Um, we're fighting it. Uh, Kasowitz is going to... You never be able to get that. Never, never. Kasowitz doesn't they'll ever be able They don't have a... Give me legitimate. a cup, please. They don't have... <laughs> Give me a cup, please. I mean, that is great product placement. I mean, that reminds me of Nixon and the Watergate tapes. As I was saying, we've got to jail all the dirty hippies. Could someone get me a tab? Tab Cola. Tab's got sass. Then, then we get into the heat of the meat with Cohen detailing for Trump how they're going to pay for Karen McDougal's story. I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so yeah. that I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and spoken to me. A little explanation here. Our friend David is National Enquirer owner and man whose name is sexual harassment, David <laughs> Pecker. The Pecker. <laughs> the Pecker. <laughs> as no one calls him. He already has the rights to McDougal's story at this point, and Trump and Cohen want to buy those rights from him ASAP because you never know might, what might happen. So what are we going to do? Funding, that, uh, yes. Um, and it's all the yeah, stuff, all the stuff, because, you know, you never know where that company, no, you never you know what he's going to be. Gets hit by a Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Getting hit by a truck is a real risk. Have you seen the idiots they let drive those things? <laughs> but... I can't believe that's an accurate impression of the president I just did. 
but the juiciest part of the tape, and the most difficult to hear, is the section where they discuss exactly how they're going to pay Pecker. Correct. So I'm, I'm all over that. And I spoke to Alan about it when it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. Okay, it's hard to hear, because the only thing that Michael Cohn is worse at than lawyering is sound recording. <laughs> In fact, we have an exclusive preview of the next Trump tape to be released. So yesterday, I contacted Vlad about the illicit payments to... Hey, anybody want a smoothie? The next thing you know, the hookers have... Hang on, Mr. Trump. It's time for your 3 o'clock marching band. Okay, where was I? Oh, so when the Russians... Oh, no, Michael. You left your elephants in here. Both sides... They're an endangered species. It was very nice of Michael Cohen. Both sides. Both sides are rushing to put their own spin on this tape, especially Trump attorney and snake preparing to eat a whole antelope. Rudy Giuliani. Now, Cohen's legal team says that on the tape, Trump suggests paying off McDougal with cash, but Giuliani called into Fox News last night to disagree. The tape is a little bit hard to hear, but I assure you that we listened to it numerous, numerous times. And the transcript makes it quite clear at the end that President Trump says, quote, don't pay with cash. Okay. Okay. That's important, because that changes everything, okay? <laughs> hey, Melania, good news. When I cheated on you, I paid by check. So <laughs> now we can declare my penis a business expense. But I'm up for an audit. I'm up. I'm getting audited. Who wants to audit me? Yeah. Giuliani says there's a simple reason Trump would have suggest would not. Sorry, Giuliani he says. Giuliani would wouldn't. Who the f knows at this point? <laughs> Giuliani says there's a simple reason Trump wouldn't have suggested cash. There's no way the president going to be talking about setting up a corporation and then using cash. Unless no. you're a complete idiot. <laughs> okay, so he used cash. <laughs> and even though He's on tape talking about payments. Giuliani claims Trump didn't know about the payment. It sounds like he knew that something was being set up to perhaps buy the rights to this McDougal story, correct? No. In fact, if you go back a little further on the transcript, I don't know if you have the whole thing, uh, Cohen says that we need financing. And the president says, wait a second, what? For financing? What? Then he has to explain it. The, the, he, the president did not know about this before this conversation. Of course, the president had no idea before this conversation. Wait a second, who's this David you're talking about? I've never heard of him. Let's give him $150,000. <laughs> of course, the wow. question remains. Easy money. The question this raises, John, are there more tapes? Giuliani almost had an answer. Today, um, someone was uh, leaking from, I'm sure their side, it can't be ours, that there are 12 tapes of Cohen with the president. May have been Avenatti, somebody else. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote you on that? You're on live TV. Does anyone on Trump's team know they're being recorded? But on the other side, we've also heard from Cohen's lawyer and hottest guy on the assisted living website, <laughs> Lanny Davis. Now, Davis claims this tape totally incriminates the president. Everybody heard just now Donald Trump say the word cash, cash, after Michael Cohen mentioned financing. There's no way that Mr. Giuliani, who knows from being U.S. attorney, the only people who use cash are drug dealers and mobsters. It's a good point. Remember, when your grandma sends you $5... <laughs> She's just laundering money for El Chapo. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. she's up for neck and mm -hmm. She's got blood on her hands. Mm -hmm. But regardless of what the tra tape proves, Trump and Cohen's lawyers aren't debating whether they're paying hush money to hide his affair. They're debating whether he wanted to use cash or check. The currency does not matter. <laughs> for Pete's sake, it could have been a barter system. Look, in exchange for their silence, I offer them this herd of oxen, a jug of milk, and a bolt of silk from Ceylon. Oh, and I'll throw in Eric. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. John Dickerson is here. But when we return, how Trump is making farmers mad. Stick around, farmers.